This week on Two Season Pod, we cliffhang or tease the episode of the year. We talk about how bad is Cam injured this week and possibly find one of the most bizarre things for Young Kijiji. Stay tuned. Cams. All right. Uh, I guess we made it back. We're in week something. Uh, we got some big news this week about uh, the possible upcoming wrestling podcast of the century. But I think at first we're going to jump into some listener emails because we begged and we begged and we finally got one. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yondi. Um, again, this is two season of pod you're listening to. Uh, okay, I'm there sure. it is. There it is. Okay, Cam. So uh, Looking for it. All right, I'm Cam LeClaire and you're... Okay, we got we got we got we got to restart we got to restart this this whole uh, this whole introducing thing. Um, okay, I think it's something that we can both kind of work on together, right? This is going to be beneficial for both of us, right? Uh, so we're on week eight right now. I think Cam, as host, it's it's good for us to know what episode it is, so okay, we can come on hot off the gate saying, "Hey, this is episode eight. You know, we can be hot. We can't be hot like that, right? I also think it'd be good if we say the name of the podcast, if not immediately, then super adjacent to immediately. Okay, let's try again then. Let's, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Because it, it doesn't have to be right away. There can be some kind of organic preamble that then right. leads to you know for for a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, and and so yeah, let's 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 kick off. Let's kick off the using what we think could work. Let's just try it. Okay. Out. Let's just try it. Out. Well, let's try something out. Um, I guess we're running into number episode eight okay, here. Okay. The so famous we got we got a countdown to know where the, where, the, where the cut right. edit point is. Okay. okay. So, we have. so okay. So I'm gonna make a big slap. Ready? Okay. Yeah. You make the big slap. Okay. Start. All right. Uh, we're on episode eight of the podcast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's Gordy Howe's episode dedicated to the man himself or the late Brit great Kobe Bryant, number eight as well. Uh, you listen to Two Seasons a Pod. This is Cam LeClaire, and we have on the other side of the table. My name is Cameron Osborne. And that these was are great. two strangers who have never met. Two people who have never met who are just trying to figure out uh, how to do something in a uh, online. Okay, that was great. That was great. You know, uh, it felt natural. You brought sports back into it. We like sports here on the uh, on the on the two season pod podcast, and we we let the folks know what they're listening to at home. Two season a pod, yep. of course. Um, but I mean, wouldn't people already know what they're listening to because they would have had to download it and clicked it? I f- you're right, but I feel like when you're if you're watching the news. They're going to tell you, like, welcome back to the news. Yeah, but that's because you're flipping back through the channels, hmm. right? It, it's the same concept, like, if you're interviewing someone on a podcast, you don't have to do it like you're on radio. It's like, by the way, we're list- we're talking to uh, George Strombolopoulos here on CBC Radio. Continue, George. Right? Because that's the possibility that they'll come right into it. But with this, it's, they know what they're listening to. I know what you're saying, but if you're listening to Classic Rock Q107, they're always saying... Classic Rock Q107, even because though... Because the people are switching through the radio station. No, but you would see 107.1 on the dial, right? Or, the same way that you or, would see the app at work, come up. Or you're at work and someone's just playing music. You're like, I like this station. What is this? You're listening to Q107, the home of Kim Mitchell and all his tunes. Ladies and gentlemen at home, you're not listening to Q107, home of Kim Mitchell uh, and his tunes. Uh, you're actually listening to Season Pod. Maybe that's what it's getting. You know how you can fast forward, like you click a little fast forward 30 seconds bit? Maybe people are fast forwarding and they're missing things like this is Two Season Pod hosted by myself, Cameron Osborne, and my co-host, Cam LeClaire. Or maybe they're missing things like um, be sure to reach out to Two Season Pod at gmail.com. You know, Please. Please. Maybe, please. Maybe they're accidentally skipping past two season a pod at gmail.com and they're actually hitting the, two D's in a pod at gmail.com. Possibly. Um, you know, yeah, that's the, the thing. The one the, is actually a sex site for a dominatrix. That's uh, true. I, that's I, true. I do, I do run that as well. Um, it, it, it was almost funny how it worked out. We have two D's in a dot for dot dom. Yeah, it's uh, rather confusing, but um, you know what? If you're looking for a good time and a little bit of um, leather and uh, a little bit of see, that's funny, Cam. I, I always thought you were more of a. I always thought you were more of a sub. A little thought more you were of a sub boy, a little sub. Yeah, uh, well, you know, sometimes you mix it up, but uh, I'm more of a guy on top who likes to. Uh, do oh, you're a top. The... So, so you're a dom on to- top. Top dom. You're a top, top dom. dom. Now, see, I thought top that dom. the dom was for the bottom. See, I thought that was reserved. no, never. Never, ever, ever, ever. never, ever. A, a dom can't be a bottom, but can a sub also be a top? 
Uh, I don't think so. so I think Donald that defines Lee. the rules. Great, Cam. Thanks for establishing. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sorry about that uh, confusion there. This is definitely yes, this yes, is not yes, a yes. Political show. This is not a sports show. This is not a sex show. This is a show where we read your emails. And thank you because we have one coming right out of the hopper. Can you get that ready for me, please? Please, God, tell me you have it ready. You know what? Yeah, we've no, we've got the email ready. I have it here on my phone, folks. Thank you for reaching out to seasonapod at gmail dot uh, The inbox just the inbox just started exploding. As soon as after last week's show, the episode seven show, of course, um, the game show show, uh, show. which is great. People are, still, people are still listening. People are still listening. Not Numbers a radio are show. Not a radio show. You are yeah. not listening to Q107.com. You're listening to Seasonal Nor is this CBC Radio. This is not I'm, CBC Radio. We're not going to pay Kim Mitchell's tunes. Um, I'm, I'm interviewing Cam uh, Osborne here. Uh, and again, I'm Cam LeClaire. If you didn't know, and this is two season in a pod in case you forgot what you downloaded two c's in a pod at gmail.com but this uh this 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 email was fantastic and it was sent i think uh like two days after we had our last show which is just um incredible uh with the the subject heading it just says to you in all caps um how do you spell uh, that like t-o-y-o-u because the funny thing about that is you could have spelled that so many different ways Oh, you could have gone T W O T O, or just the number two. You yeah. could have gone T O, or just two U. Yeah. Anyway, that, irrelevant. Just you could have spelt it T W O E W E. Um, yeah. For all you nerds out there, uh, but here we go. Okay, so this this email was two year uh, to you, and I'm gonna read. Uh, I'm going to read this for you. Um, my dear, hear the cry of an orphan as I have noticed that I am orphan. First of all, let me introduce myself to you before I will go ahead for my reason of contacting you. My name is Miss Felicia Saitoti, 22 years old female, the only daughter of George Saitoti, the former Kenyan internal security minister. Shit. Oh, shit. Right? Uh, my beloved father, George, say Can I pa- pause right here quick? Uh, we have international it, listeners. This is international, folks. We're not talking... Intercontinental. This, intercontinental. We're not just talking about, you know, down you know down south and the United States. We're talking across the Atlantic. Pacific? This is amazing. Atlantic. Something. My beloved father, George Saitoti, and his assistant, Joshua Orwa Ojeda, were killed in a helicopter crash in Nagong Forest in Kenyan, East Africa. The accident happened on June 10th, 2012. On Sunday, a few minutes after they had taken off from Wilson Airport. Yeah, this this is is terrible. This is a while ago. Yeah, she gave us a a link to, uh, she gave us a link if we want to find out. Um... Am I still going on this? Am I still going on this, Cam? I mean, let's get to the what? The, what? What do they like about the podcast? What? What? What do they like about the podcast? But here, uh, well, here's um, here's what I think they really do like most about the podcast um, is that uh, presently they are seeking asylum under the United Nations High Commission for the refugee here in Uga. Ugaga Dugu uh, in the Republic of Bernica Fasco because I don't have money to lodge in a hotel. Cam, this is where they show their love to the podcast. Uh, I am in search of an honest, reliable person. Cam, that's you, who will help me and stand as my trustee so that I will present him uh, to the bank for transfer of the money to his bank account overseas. I have chosen to contact you, like us, after my prayers, and I believe that you will not betray my trust, but rather take me as your own sister or daughter. (laughs) So my father of blessed (laughs) memory deposited the sum of... $5.5 $5.5 million dollars is in it, bank kind with of my name, uh, U.S. She was very... Great. Was very, okay. Um, Good. Yeah, um, okay. Send her an email back. Um, just let her know um, that... Oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ, Cam. <laughs> let her know that we are in support. Now, we just need a few things, okay? The first thing we need is the hand of a raccoon that lived within 300 meters of your house. Interesting. If you send that, yeah. Interesting. Very specific. Why? Because you have to be specific to be terrific. Okay, and now just here, like the... 
I, I love what you're saying. I love the idea of that specific request. I would find that yeah. difficult because don't quote me on this. I'm pretty sure raccoons are only in North America. Mm, good point. Okay, what do they have in, uh, what's the country? Kenya. Ah, okay. Um, top 10 Kenya animals. We don't have a top 10 ready, but um, a cat's foot. A cat's foot. Yeah, I'm going to say cat. something like a cheetah. Cheetah foot. Yeah. yeah. A large, yeah. Well, that's a specific, that's a that, specific we'll request. Cam, they're just looking for our small investment, and they How will re... Well, whatever we have, Whatever we have to give, but Cam, they will reimburse us. Oh, Five point five million dollars. Did you not I mean, catch not, that? I heard that. I heard that. It's just sometimes how much my, money do you have to give? And, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, that's great. I. That's great. Uh, I don't really know how to proceed with this. I'm, I I feel compelled to help out this young lady. Uh, obviously, her mm-hmm. someone died in twenty twelve. And honestly, you're if, you're you're a fan on the show. We want to support you, however we can. I mean, I think that go- I think that goes without saying. I mean, no, we so what, what was her name again? Uh, her name was Miss Felicia George. All right, thanks, Miss Felicia George, for the the great. Oh no, email. sorry, Felicia Saytoti. Saytoti, thanks for the great email, Felicia. Um, was did anyone else write in? I I I'll have to get back to you on that. I um, there's just a lot. A there, yeah, pretty full, pretty full. Oh inbox. yeah, no, the inbox yeah. is so full that um, I'm just finding it difficult to. To like scroll through yeah, everything right now. Does that make sense? Yeah, we you can know, probably get um, Oh, it's just I, I I can't even I can't even see it. You know, like just because it's so it's so it's much. so it's so up it's there. You know what I'm saying? Many. Like my phone is just so so much writing that I can't specifically tell which things. one is like an email to the show and which one is just. Uh, like Pornhub requests. Yep. Yeah. Pa- what? Yeah. Exactly. What you said, not what I said. Uh, First one. Yeah. I, I, so, so, so. Long story short, folks, uh, we got an email, and thank you very, very much for that. Thanks. And uh, thank you know you the email. Listeners. Two season pod at gmail Yeah, we're out here. Uh, we're out so, here. Uh, listen to what the people have to give. Do you need relationship advice? Do you need advice on uh, well, your uh, squatting performance? That yeah. Per- why not? That, well, not, maybe not the squat. <laughs> <laughs> Squat form? I'll give that. Why not? Um, okay, okay. So someone's gonna send us an email. How would it? How would it? Question email like that be phrased? So of course uh, you're listening to uh, squat uh, squatting tournament participant Cam LeClaire over here. Yes, uh, the <laughs> Vape Nation Games. Yes, uh, the 2014 ish, maybe 2015 ish uh, Durham Lifting Classic. Uh, Classic. P- participant. Uh, so, what, what 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 kind of emails do you think we could respond that would help people with their fitness advice? What do you think? Um, okay, here's a good one. There. It, uh, oh, look at this. Have an email coming in. Oh, just right off the hop, right here. Oh, what are the They're, odds? What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Wild. It's like it's Wild. like oh my, huh? The, the way life works out sometimes. Okay, what what are you what are you reading over there? Um. So it says here I have a workout buddy. That has started coming to gym. He's been pretty consistent. This is from Marvin in Oshawa. Uh, thanks, Marvin, first of all. So Marvin in Oshawa uh, goes to the LA Fitness, brings his buddy with him who's just starting to get past his uh, over the hump of his his um, New Year's resolution. But his his gym drip or his outfits, he's wearing he's wearing jorts. Mm, um, it's a good look. So he's he's asking. How I can't be seen with a guy like this wearing these type of clothing. What can I say to the guy to not break his confidence, but keep him from? I, I want the guy to still come. So thanks for re- reaching out, Marvin. Appreciate that. Um, so this is a little bit of a relationship advice and a squat form advice, a little bit. Um, I think. Well, what do you think, Cam? Uh, Marvin, th- yeah, thanks you. Uh, thank you for reaching out. What I have to say is, I think you need to lean into this. I think this kid might be onto something. You start wearing your jorts for your leg day, your squats, your your leg push. You know, next thing you know, those jeans are getting tighter and tighter. You know, you know how hard it is to rip through basketball shorts. That's tough. We've all ripped through a pair of jeans. Imagine that pump. The way you feel squatting a new fucking PR and your jeans are ripping like you're the Incredible Hulk. Have you ever ripped a pair of pants in the gym? Uh, no. No. I ripped, one, I ripped a little bit of one last week when I was squatting heavy. Some some shorts? Then, you're, then your shorts They're, are too tight. 
uh, or my legs are too big, or my butt's too big. <laughs> See, exactly. That's the idea we need to go with. That insane, right. that Hulk Felt like a monster, though. Felt attitude like a monster when you in rip there. your jean shorts. Yeah. Um, of course, they need to be pants that you buy and then cut into jean shorts. They can't yeah. be like jean well, shorts you buy because those are a little looser. Are. Though, you know, those, those things are yeah. a little looser. Uh, so, Marvin, I think you need to lean into it. Try this. This well, could be something new. Next thing thanks you know, maybe question, you guys, are, maybe you're wearing flannel on your chest day. Who knows? This could be start, the start sick. of a whole new, uh, a whole new thing. That'd be sick. I'll take that advice. Um, yeah. So thanks for the listener emails, everybody. Speaking of shorts, at the beer store today, picking up some uh, casuals for a Thursday night, and uh, saw a guy wearing shorts. Shorts guy. Jan- what are we? January thirtieth. We've had a little bit of good weather. Like it's been like minus three out. Unacceptable. What's Un- it been like there? What's what's it been like there? It's been uh, uh, I've seen shorts a long time. Yesterday. It's been super windy. Uh I mean it's not part. warm out. I'm still putting a coat on and shit. Still putting a coat out. Um uh what was the, the, this guy was he what was man or man or woman? Uh man, I'm gonna say he's about forty three. Okay. Um Body type wearing, Body type. Um I would say skinny fat. So it's like he can't put it on weight easily, but he can put it on his gut easily. And it's okay. probably from boozing. Um what was he wearing? What, what was he wearing up top? Not a hat. He's, uh, I think he was wearing a flannel. Because he's, he's bald? Some, but not like, not like a good flannel. No, he just he was not wearing a hat. I mean, there's a very specific like beer store type of person that's wearing mm. like a... Um, that's true. Beer store on a Thursday in Kitchener. What on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you judge his mental stability? I would say pretty high up there. Like definitely 9 Interesting. or 10. Really? Yeah, which was the part that surprised me because it was kind of like he was making a statement. Or so like, yeah, I'm I'm wearing shorts. But th- so what you believe yeah. you saw was a totally rational person who just happened to be wearing shorts in January, just like a, a crazy statement. person. Yeah, yeah, what pretty st- much. What statement? What statement is that? <laughs> is this a glo- is this a global I'm warming tough, thing? I'm tougher than all you. <laughs> yeah. This is, I think it's a global warming thing. You know, that's the protest. You wear shorts in the winter. No, like that'd be like an anti-global warming. Because you'd be wearing shorts in January, being like, see, it's not too hot. I don't know what everyone's I, complaining I about. I don't know if he was making that particular statement, but um, I don't know. It was uh, shocking a little bit. A little bit disappointing. Mm-hmm. I did look at him right in the eyes, and he looked at me back. Oh, really? He made I, full eye contact. made very full eye contact with him to kind of let him know, like, yeah, we see you. We see you. You think you're fucking better than us? You know, me and my sweater and jeans picking up some beer. I should have looked what he was buying. The better mm, that, yeah, that's that's a good point. You know, was he buying the uh, the crafty IPAs or Bush Light? It's a big I think it was. There. I think it was definitely a twelve pack of something, but it didn't look expensive. I just don't remember exactly. You need to start of taking pi- pictures. It was like, <laughs> yeah, you need to start taking more photos of people directly in public. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You know, the, more proof, more proof for these things. The uh, the beer store lady also taught me a trick. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this, Cam. Do you use tap on your card at all? Yes. Do you ever find that at the no. LCB or the beer store? No, you don't use tap. I, I I'm I'm pleading the fifth for that question, sir. You have no right to ask me about my banking information, my social insurance number, or my passport. Oh, Cam, we can't we can't keep playing games all the time. <laughs> I got a new game show idea. Okay, it's new game show idea. What is it? New game show idea. Um, I'll you we, we guess we lay out nine numbers and nope. um, you've lost okay. us. You've, you've lost. Damn me. it! All right. Um, anyway, the trick that she gave me is if you're ever tapping at the beer store, I find a lot of times that the LCB and the beer store they just don't work. A lot of things just give the double click and they cancel. She told me whenever you're going there. Put the card down before it actually she presses enter and it'll always work. Okay, okay, yeah. Little, uh, okay, are you sure Life she hack? I don't know. Are you sure she wasn't you know trying to pull one on you? You know, maybe charge you an extra couple bucks on uh, on the beer you got. You know, like it's her little scam system. Oh, I would. I'm, I I checked my statement as soon as afterwards. Oh yeah, you stand you stand there, just refreshing the RBC <laughs> app. And I go, listen, lady, I now have minus $38 in my bank account, and that's about correct. So we're good. Thank you for your time. You're tapping your card down before you see the amount she's charging you. Ooh, 
good point. No, yeah. just to enter it. Just to enter it. Okay. Because there's a but, like you can see what the charge is, but then you have to enter it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man. As long as you're as long as you're comfortable. I'm trying to help out the listeners. Okay. They come to our That's show good for point. good That's relationship good advice. They come to our show for good uh, gym advice, um, and they come to our show to listen to um, us beg for them to email us because they just want to feel that power. That that's beg is uh is not a, the word I would please, use. Please, I don't think we've ever said pwee, pretty, pretty, please. Please, please, please. We've never we've never lost the ability to use our L's. Uh, Poop. with um, we've never gone into full puppy eye, just uh, begging for a treat. Maybe once um, or twice. We're just we're just we're just we're, we're I think we're encouraging interaction amongst people. Yeah, we're just trying to get the dial. You know, get maybe the people maybe maybe, maybe eventually two listeners of the show um, will um, you know one will one will email in with like a like a missed encounter kind of thing, and next thing you know, another listener is emailing in saying like, "Hey, that was me," and then the next thing you know, uh, we're we're actually we're actually caught we're actually the root of the connection. We're not just you know we're not just doing this for our own vanity. You know, it's not like we put our names in the title because not neither one of Who us would is do that. that? We're not not me, not you. Agreed. Two season pot at gmail dot com. Agreed. Hey, um, I told you I had a what do you call it? News about the uh, possible wrestling podcast. Okay, yes, uh, a couple weeks. I think the plan is for, uh, I'm definitely coming to visit you in a couple weeks. I think it's family day weekend. And uh, what better family would I want to spend my time with than uh, Cam LeClaire? I also just got an email I just saw from Weed Maps that is asking me to be their sales email. rep, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, that wasn't the main point. Um, what I did want to bring up is that we are going back and forth through email for a wrestler to come on the podcast to get the full story. Um, I'll tell you the quick the quick story on it, Cam. So remember I told you that – I don't think we've ever told the story on the pod. I was playing basketball because I'm a baller. Yeah, Cam, um, no, we, t- we told the story last week. That I was able to find a wrestler, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, so back I, to back I, to how to host Cam. I think uh, I'm, again in in a, in a non vain way. Yeah, maybe skim through the previous week's episodes. You can kind of you know I think yeah because you know we, we don't want to keep retelling stories, and the next thing you know we have to like establish some kind of like punishment aspect for the other one who keeps bringing up the same story. Shit, like okay, a, yeah, you, like a like a lashing what? or a, that's fine. You know, okay. a spanking. That's fine. How about I that? Will, okay, I'll so be better. I'll be better. I promise. If, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. Um. So how about this? If you so we'll have to keep a running tally because of course, Cam, we can't see each other all the time. But every time, uh, one of us tells a story and the other one catches them, uh, you get one spanking. One spanking. Who delivers one, the spanking is a better question. Oh, that's a good point. We need an impartial spanker. Folks at home, let us know. If you want to be the official Two Season Pod spanker, let us know. Two Season Pod at gmail.com. The contest is open right now. You want to spank one of us? Please do. I'd love Please that. do. Um, so, Crossbody got back to me. They said they're happy to help. Was there any wrestler in particular that you had in mind they'd want to interview? So, you tell me, Cam. You've watched some of the tapes. Um, who's standing out to you? Jimbo Jones, possibly? I mean, he's the most enthusiastic man on the card for sure. But we could also get the uh, the head promoter Ben. I mean, the world is our oyster right now. I can't, who, who I, do you I, like? Who do you want? Is a better question. Maybe not the person, but who do you want? Is it a person with five years experience, one year experience, someone that's great on the mic, someone that uh, is maybe just a, a veteran, is a new guy? Who do you want? Now this, now th- now this is intriguing, right? Because of course we are. Uh, we are young people ourselves, so you know if you're ta- talking to a fifty-year-old, is that a little too much out of our league? Who knows? But what? What about somebody who's new? Who knows about that? I really haven't given any thought because you're. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being told, folks at home, I'm being told for the first time all of this brand new information. I mean, um, yeah, I got this like this is like half an hour ago. <laughs> okay, um, let, let a man be excited. Okay, <laughs> hey, of course you're excited. Well, I think. Cam, um, my question is for you because I mean you're you're spearheading everything that's going on. Like, what do you want out of this? 
Like what 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 is what is your idea of what 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 a successful version of what we're going for? I think the most I, I think we're gonna get a good story regardless. I think we just have to find a person that um, we just need to build. If we get good, good enough rapport with anybody, we'll do a great podcast. I think it would be interesting to get someone that's maybe about four years into it because that kind of feels like it's a tipping point of like, what are we, what am I doing here? Because when you're first starting, it could be like, I'm just kind of curious about it, not really sure. But after you've been doing it for a while, like you've probably seen people advance, you go through it. Um, you're probably thinking to yourself like, okay, what's the next steps for me? Um, you'd be able to have a lot of good stories from people in the past who have done wild things. Um, how You've seen pretty much the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. Everything that goes with wrestling at the amateur level, I'm sure they've seen. And hopefully someone that's done some good traveling too, that's not just been in Waterloo. Because then they could talk about different promotions as well. That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, Cam, I think my question for you is like, as a uh, as a t- as a typically non wrestling fan, I remember watching War Games at your place, and we, ha- we you insisted we had the UFC fights on on the second on the separate television. So we I think we brought in a second but TV. I always because no, we can't just we sports. can't just watch War Games. We can't just watch that incredible War Games match with the Viking Raiders, Ricochet, Pete Dunne, Undisputed Era. I'm just putting arrows like one for two in these war games past three years. That doesn't matter. Well, my question, this well, is not my a question podcast. is though, sometimes it is. It could be though. Well, I mean, it's going to have yeah. to be that one time, right? Because we're going to have to dig it's deep gonna be, into. We're going to have to do re- a lot of research. Relevant questions that somebody would ask somebody in that business, because of course, Cam, interviewing somebody, it's not like if it's not like they're a pal before. Where we would have right. pretty much just the same show, but it's with a friend. This is like this is a total stranger. I'm hoping who, it's our we're best taking time ever show. out of. We're out. It, it it very well will be. Thank you. You know, but because we but because see what you and I need to do, we need to, try, you know, formulate the way because we're, we you're not going to play headline or asinine with a. Uh, I think you. I think they'd have fun with it. But uh, but you you know I mean we could but then we're, are we forcing somebody to do our thing? Is that what that then turns into? I mean, you know what I'm you know possibly, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think we need to think about the way that we want that show to end up and then Fair uh, enough. I mean, we don't have much time anymore. We're looking at like 14 days, 15 days, 16 14. days. <laughs> can you can, how many days? I can count 16 days. 16 days. Um That's till the show. That's till that we we watch the uh the show on the 15th. Um, yes, and we'll put our first promotion out there. Cross Body Wrestling Academy show this uh, February fifteenth. Um, looking for a little bit of love in your life? Why don't you look for a little wrestling love to give back to the community? Uh, Cross Body Pro Wrestling Academy most Friday nights, and it's going to be a special show on the Saturday, February fifteenth. We'll be there. Uh, first twenty fans that come up to us get a free. Um, they get a free, uh, like we'll, we'll surprise, sign, their, we'll surprise. sign your chest. We'll sign your sign chest. chest. We'll autograph yeah. it, you know, uh, and maybe a gift. Maybe, 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 maybe. Cam, um, no promises, none, not even well, one. Ca- well, Cam, you just pro, you just said there would be a gift. I said, maybe, almost, like, I said, prom- maybe there'd be a gift, Yeah, but you could have just said no gift. And then when you get the gift, then it's the surprise. Then you're like, oh my God, like I got a gift, even though there's no gift. Then why'd you say, well, why'd you even bring it up? That's a surprise. You just you you Cam, Cam can I talk can I talk to you uh can I talk to you over here? All right. Can you can you just come with me? I just need to talk to you over here. Uh moving forward, um yeah, so we're 15 days out. I I'm pretty excited for it. We actually do have to do some pretty serious planning for it. Um but yeah, let's uh well, it's something to be excited for. I know January is tough on a lot of people. It's tough on me. Um just shit month. Garbage month. Probably my least favorite month of the year. Um mm. Yeah. That's great, and the show is gonna happen then, or I thought that was when we were gonna plan. That's we're gonna the watch show to it. Happen. That's we're gonna watch mm-hmm. it, plan it, and then ma- hopefully get it done on the Sunday. Oh, you want to get it live. done the next day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm not sure if I like that idea, but we'll uh, but we'll we'll, 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 we'll talk, do a lot we'll of. Talk. We'll talk. do a lot of work. Exactly. All right, my exactly. people will get in touch with your people. We'll work something out. Yeah, my people are waiting. Uh, they've got. They're waiting for a call. Uh, they're sitting there by their landline. 
big rotary deal. Just waiting for that bring bring to come in. Exciting, dude. I'm pretty pumped. I think that's that's what I've been looking forward to for the year. I'm gonna say that. Anyway, the whole um, year you're banking we, the entire year on this. Oh my god, it feels so much well, pressure. I'm not now. saying I'm it's not saying even more. Year. I'm just saying we've pressure. only been in January so far. So what else do I've looked forward to? Um, we got a bunch of stuff, but anyway, moving forward, moving ahead here, uh, we can do one of two things: we can jump right into our games, or we can do a new segment, which is how bad is Cam injured this week? A new, a new, a new thing. Of course, folks, we're always listening. we're all, we're always, we're always thinking of new stuff over here. And um, and as we know, every single week, uh, every single week, Cam Cam Leclaire is hurting in a different way. So here's um, Cameron's here's Cam's injury corner. All right. Well, let's keep it under sixty seconds here. Uh, first injury that's running okay. about <laughs> is a scapula issue, a little bit too tight on the right scapula, which is causing some trap pain. This has been an ongoing problem. Some call it chronic because it's been over six months, um, causing stiffness in the upper back, rounding of the shoulders, and overall discomfort. The second major injury of the week is a acute. QL sprain and the QL is the muscle that runs between your hip and your ribs uh, those two things you can probably feel it with yourself folks right now touch that right there it's the muscle deep in there that allows for the contraction Ooh. between the two uh, I was playing basketball this week and tore it a small tear it's acute meaning it's recent and sprain meaning it's a small tear in it which basically means I am out of sports for about 10 days not fun and that wraps up my injury summary Fantastic! That was a great uh, that was a great kickoff to that brand new segment uh, that we have every week. Cam, I really hope your scapula gets back to uh, back to normal, and I hope your QL feels a bit better because you got to get back out there on the court. Um, you know, great cardio out there on the basketball court, and uh, I bet I bet your team misses you too. You're a big body, big body, you know, big energy. Uh, c- certainly not uh, height wise. Um, because you're you're just about like 4'10". You have a very tough time keeping it up out there. But your width is so large that no, really nobody can get past you. You can uh, you can sometimes like block two guys at a time. Uh, you know you're setting a pick and no nobody nobody's moving you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not great at setting picks, but pretty much if I just stand anywhere, uh, it will work. So yeah, yeah, it's like you know, you take up such a large percentage of the court that just by standing still, odds are somebody's going to hit you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think my teammates a lot of times run near me, and if I just take even a quarter step, uh, I right. am blocking the key, the three point line, pretty much everything in between. Right. So how how did you hurt the QL joint with you know I mean muscle? You're 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 moving. So so little or well, is it just even that monicum of movement is enough to tear actually i was going up for a uh, rebound putting up one arm in the air like going pretty much above the backboard because i'm so giant um and you're right, you can jump extended. surprisingly you can jump surprisingly uh high yeah. although you're, you you yourself legs. are Powerful are legs. sub are sub five foot tall sub five foot tall. You, can, you can you can jump you can jump 12 incredible feet incredible in vert um, so like, fully extended vertical. in the air, full extended in the air. Get your arm up, fans at home. Get your arm up as high as you can, and imagine your leg being as low as it can. So you see how that like the side of your muscle, like the side of your body, is like really stretched out at that point. So it's fully extended, and then I landed on that same foot that was extended. So basically, what the guy explained to me is it like disrupted a capsule that sits around your spine, which then um, affected the QL muscle. So, um, I obviously am not a doctor. I work with doctors, but I am nowhere close to it. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I went to a live operation this week, and I saw a live <laughs> hip surgery and knee surgery. A little off topic, but I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, remember that... Uh, this, remember, well, yeah, yeah. remember that Remember that little conversation? Remember the, pre, the pre-show I, I conversation? Yeah, pre-show conversation, but this one I didn't never talk about it before. I'll talk about it later. Yeah, but... but, but <laughs> It's called the cliffhanger. It's called you could, the cliffhanger. You could, you, could, you could save that to another week, right? You know, I will, the time I you will. Take to, you organize your thoughts. It's and a then, cliffhanger. You know, it is a, like just like that movie, Point Break. You Point know, it's break, a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Um, other movie, um, Whiplash, cliffhanger. Um, mm-hmm. rushing, Island, and cliffhanger. rushing or dragging. Yeah. DiCaprio was crazy the whole time. Yeah, exactly. 
I think you're killing yes. all the uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Marilyn Manson is actually Marilyn Monroe. Yes, that's the that's the twist. That's the twist in that one that they that, that they they can missed that you missed. I think uh, you had to see the director's cut for that for that one. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. So that's the injury report for the week. Um, out for about ten days. I'll be hopefully back to jujitsu on Tuesday. But we'll. See. No, I think my final que- my final my final question. I just want to be sure I cover all the bases about your injury cam. Is just that. Okay. You, as as um, folks at home, and if you haven't, you have to go back and listen to uh, Cam's twenty fifth birthday spectacular. It was one. Of, it was one of the most fun episodes we will ever have. Probably. Um, but uh, but it, within that episode, um, it is it it's explained that Cam, you have a you have you have a you have a history of what you believe to be the inter- best interest of your body. Uh, and maybe taking photos or showing people live the specific problems, and sometimes it gets in some trouble. Yeah, I avoid that entirely now. Um, so did um, did you go to a doctor for this one, yeah. or you didn't take like a photo and show it to uh, like a girl um, like in the Laurier Science Building? Just like, hey, yeah. you, you do kinesiology, right? You, you're in and kinesiology. You, no, didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's good. That's good. That's a, that's an improvement. Improvements. Um, yeah. Well, I went to a chiropractor, uh, my local chiropractor, and he uh, did a good dig on me, checking things out. Okay, good. Good. You went to a medical professional. Medical professional. That's where Perfect. we Perfect. That's all. That's all. That's all I really. Uh, that's all I really cared about. Just wanted to make sure you were handling it properly. Properly. We did it right. Well, that's so, great. Sm- QL. Can't wait till next week. Can't wait to hear. Uh, can't wait to hear what's going on next week, Cam. Good. All right, let's jump into it, buddy. We got a few games to play, and uh, don't want to keep the listeners waiting. We want to start with uh, a little bit of free on Kijiji because I have a fucking banger this week. K I J I J I K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K K I J I K
Uh, no, okay. Well, I think we have to, if we're doing it, we like end scene. Like oh, okay. the scene end is scene. over there. Clap. You know, end we, scene. Cl- end you know, scene. end scene. Um, oh, very good. Uh, very good, Mr. Johnson. Oh, very good. All right. Yeah. So it's a free breast pump to th- in Toronto, which I, you know, as soon as you see it, you're like, yeah, got it. That's the one. That's the one right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's great. You know, so, uh, and listeners at home. Do you have a you, you got a little you got a little one on the way, or just email two season uh, email two kink email two season a pod kink. and we'll we'll show you the link to the to the thing maybe a little, and, little bit uh, of a sub hmm? maybe a dom maybe you're a bit uh, of a sub a playful maybe Who knows? maybe you want to dom up maybe you want to dom up your uh, your love life dom up huh? your life free breast pumps dom, North York. dom up your life dom up your life sub up your life i like uh i like where we're going with the with those two particular catchphrases um i think there's a lot we can do with that all right has, you, has anyone trademark do, sub up your life sub up your <laughs> has, life has subway has subway taken that one already maybe I don't know. After the whole uh, Jared from Subway thing, that's I don't true. They think probably they want to. They do probably want to stay yeah. away from anything revol- uh, involving subs or doms. Yeah, exactly. Dominate your subs. Subway Dominate sandwiches. your subs. Subway sandwiches. God damn it! We're on. Fuck. We were on this. I I knew it. Dominate move move your aside, subs. Don Draper. We're selling you. We're selling sandwiches to. We're selling sandwiches to fat people. That's what we're doing right now here at Subway. Chubway, it is. All right, what do you so, got for me, big cat? Did you say? Did you say Chubway? Oh, that's what I always call it. Chubway, <laughs> Chubway sandwiches. Chubway, eat bread. Chubway, eat fresh. Um, I fucking love Chubway. I had it this week already. Fucking why are you eating it. so much Chub? Just cause I. You never get a craving for Chubway. No, I don't think so. Never in your life. Oh fuck! At least no, no. I've had guy. I've I've had food poisoning twice from Chubway. So uh, no, I probably in term Chubway. No, it's probably from somebody else. It was specifically nope, the nope, 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 it was nope. specifically no, the sweet onion stop chicken chabiaki. Wasn't that? Oh, oh, was that it? Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I don't think it's real. I think you're a liar. Um, okay. Dominate your subs. <laughs> Subway it is. Um, always go with a cold cut combo. There, there's your problem right there, bud. Oh yeah, that maybe that's it. Yeah, never get chicken from a place where they also uh, bake bread. I think that maybe that's a good rule, kind of rule of thumb. Why? I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of a reason why you wouldn't order uh, chicken on a sub. I just stay away from Chubway. Fair. Well, I get cravings for it, and I love it. I love it. Oh yeah. Oh, cool, good. cool. Thanks. <laughs> Don't hate on this guy. Good. Okay, Cam, I got one for you here. Let's hear it. Am I am I selling this one to you, or do, would you like me to just kind of pontificate? Excuse the way me, that excuse I, me. That I'm, I I'm coming to the elevator. I have meetings to get the way to. That I, you're oh. lucky. You're it's on the tenth floor. Let's go, peasant. Press the tenth floor button for me, you piece <laughs> of shit. Fuck you. I'm better than you. Look at this tie. You know how much this tie is worth? More than your fucking salary. Speak. Well, you know what? I mean, you spend a lot of money. Uh, you spend a lot of money on ties. See, me, I love. Uh, I love to find ways to reuse things. You know, even even things like recyclables. Um, I just like to. I, you know, I, sir, like you, you are uh, you are a man of faith, and I like to be a good steward with the resources that God has given us. Um, which is why, sir. I mean, I know you have to get off. Uh, you said tenth floor. We're kind of creeping up halfway yeah, to, put to my the second. In soon. We're kind of like halfway to the second floor right now, so that's okay, um, sir. If you wanna, if if you, if you wanted to come down to my place because I have so many free, clean recyclables um, that you can use for art projects, gardening, crafts, science needs. Um, um, I have the, I have so, I have empty old empty cereal and soap boxes, old milk jugs that Sixth I've rinsed floor. out, um, toilet paper rolls. Uh, oh my god! I, did the elevator stop moving, sir? Press the right okay, button. So, Press okay, the right so, okay, button. So, okay, so okay, okay, okay. Um, oh god, I think they're probably going to be a minute. But just while I have your time here, um, you you wouldn't even believe it. I have uh, I have newspaper bags, vegetable bags. I even have milk bags that I've cut, cleaned out, and rolled up um, for storage. I have large boxes, even um, empty brown, green, and clear beer bottles. 
Um, you, uh, so if, if you do want any of this information, you can call me. Uh, call me between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., please. Uh, um, no email. Um, also, no. T please don't text me, sir, because this is a landline, the number that I'm going to give you. Uh, so if you are looking for empty pill bottles, empty plastic bags, empty milk jugs, um, empty like boxes that instant pizza comes in or you know like uh like oven pizza i've just kind of cut out w <laughs> one side so it still remains a box uh so let me know if you want them how did you know i was into arts and crafts with recyclables you know what it was that tie that tie that 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 you said you said to me cost a lot of money, but I can very much tell that you made it yourself. It looks like you've uh you kind of like glued you kind of like use some hot glue gun for a, on a little pom pom on it's there and uh, it's priceless and <laughs> and uh, it's used some sprinkles sprinkled sequence on there also. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, they fixed this elevator. Oh, thank God. Um, hey, take my business card. Take my business card. Oh, I, I think oh, we can make something happen. I think we can make wow. some business happen, sir. Scene. Wow, congratulations. A and scene. And scene. Um, wow, so they're selling, they're, not, they're just giving away free, the, the weird, why are they storing it? Now this one's funny. Uh, yeah, um, my dad, my my dad does a lot, keeps a lot of the same shit that this crazy person uh, from Nova Scotia also does. Um, like my dad would, um, when when the milk bag was done, he'd cut off the top, just kind of like you know a, a centimeter at the top, <laughs> rinse it out, and then that would be the bags that we would eat our sandwiches in. You know that he'd kind of like make lunch for the next day and stuff. I mean, at least tons of shit like it, that. Yeah. Oh, totally reusing it. And every time, like, we'd go to throw them out, um, our parents would say, like, well, it's your planet. Which is the weird thing, because my parents are not, now that, they're not environmental in any way, shape, or, except for, like, milk bags. I really got to ask them about that. <laughs> just milk? That's, a, like, that's the only I don't know, I'm just, having, I'm, just having this I'm just having this revelation right now. I'm seeing my folks this week, and I gotta ask them, like, why they care so much specifically about that element of the environment. Like, you know, they drive around fucking trucks and boats. Yeah. Why? Why was the milk bags the one that they really chose to harness in on? I'm not sure. They they literally pour their bacon oil outside just in, in gardens. Like, <laughs> I, fuck it. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. I don't think that's, I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's bad bacon for the agrees. gardens. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Is it? It's kill everything. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna yeah, kill it's, everything. I don't. I don't know. I don't garden. I don't know. I don't, I don't either, garden. But just think about I don't it. garden or bacon. I guess. Fair enough. Um, wow, yeah, definitely grill them on that. Um, new segment on the podcast next week. Why the hell are Cam's parents keeping recycling bags? Are they part no, I think of? I, are they part of Big Milk Bag? Uh, that, that, that's that's I've, something I've always wondered. My folks have always come of home. That. Um, they, they they always came home with uh, milk mustaches after a long day of work. And I'd ask them where they went, and they were they would tell them like, oh, we just we were just meeting up with a friend. Um, they would always be very vague. Uh, you're right. They could have met up with Big Milk. Big Milk it is. Big Fuck. Milk is working with Big Gun and Big Tobacco. We know it. They're all there in that big office. That big, big skyscraper. Office. That big, big skyscraper. Chairs. With big chairs. <laughs> Wait, it's not delicious. And there you wow. have it. There you have it. Okay. And that, for uh, everybody, that's uh, Free on Kajaj. Free on Kajaj. All right. Well, um, let's, uh, let's jump into our final game here. Our final segment of the podcast for all you listeners at home. Um, and it's hit it. Hey, 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 headline or ass hey, 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 I, I, yeah, um, we're, uh, I think a, a, a remix a remix of that is kind of being worked on in a headline or asinine type of way. Sick. Uh, you know, because it's something that's being worked on. But we're playing headline or asinine right now, folks. You know what the game is. Uh, Cam and I both have three headlines for each other, and uh, um, they might be true or they might be false, and we're going to try to guess which one they are. So, Cam, I'm going to kick off uh, for you, okay? All right, let's hear it. Okay, so here's your first headline. Uh, woman arrested after driving into oncoming traffic and colliding with vehicle to, quote, test her faith. Wow. I mean, this does have all the markings of a cam headline, um, but I love it. Now, do I think 
that someone could I think someone could pull that card and and that's kind of like or or I think they could just like say the quote at the end and be like oh, I was testing my faith and that's what they pull for the headline that's my most rational explanation for it um, so she's driving to the wrong side of the highway crashed and did she intentionally crash into somebody I guess I can't I can't know that can I um, but she did hey you ever hear the story about a guy who was driving down the highway um, and uh, his wife calls him and his wife goes hey I know you're driving down the highway right now that apparently there's some idiot driving down the road that's going the wrong way and he goes one person there's hundreds <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That, that's Classic. a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Classic. Um, Classic. So I'm gonna say, yeah, that's a uh, that's a headline. That is a headline, sir. Uh, this happened about a month ago. Uh, Nadija Relly, 41 of Pennsylvania, um, told the police that uh, she was driving on a local route for several hours, waiting for a call, waiting for a call from God. And when she saw a car um, driving oh, on the opposite side of. Yeah, when she saw a car driving on the opposite side of State Route 93, she allegedly wanted to test her faith by driving through the vehicle, according to her official affidavit. Um, uh, the two victims in the other car were injured, not uh, not killed. So they ver- they are very much still alive. Um, but it was like a mother and her daughter. So uh, this was a bit wild. This woman is charged with aggravated assault, simple assault, and reckless endangerment. Uh and along with several traffic charges related to the crash. Shame on her and shame on religions. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, hey, who, who the heck knows? Uh, her bail was originally set at $50,000, but then after the judge heard the actual affidavit, uh, like revoked the bail and putting her under protective care because uh, possibly not the most rational human being in the world. I don't know. I don't want to jump to conclusions about other people's lives. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's a headline. Cool. Love it. Yeah. Um, again, shame on you. Shame on religion. Shame on driving on the wrong side of the highway. This isn't yeah. England, God damn it. This isn't England. He- you don't drive on the other side of the road. Come on, guys. All right. Headline or asinine. Man arrested for smoking marijuana while in court for marijuana charges. Ah. The Classic ultimate, conundrum. Uh, <laughs> Classic conundrum. So what do you do with so the extra? I, so put my so put my no so put myself I'm gonna put myself in this guy's shoes right so I picture, uh, I picture you know he he so this is a pothead right so you're going to you're going to court and that's probably been what you've probably been pot free for like three hours now. Yeah, that's too long, mean? man. That's too long. You know, I mean, I need I think I need THC every like three approximately hours or I kind of start to sort of shut down. I can feel so my body shake, start to shut down shakes. I shakes go. My bowels will go absolutely next. I'll just they'll, I'll just void them all together. Um, it gets to be a bit crazy. Um, so I think you need that high. What my, my biggest question is why? And now here's a big one. How did like the bailiff not find that? That seems like a thing that's that like you're you're, pat, you're patting somebody down. Um, so I mean, I really question the entire security system leading up to that. Maybe this man wasn't uh, wasn't being a pothead. He wasn't rebelling against pot laws. No, he was rebelling against the the whole system. He's saying you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna arrest me for smoking pot, but your bailiff can't even pat down pot on my body. What if this was a gun? What if this was a taser? What if this would have hurt somebody? We don't know. So that for that being reason. Said, it's a headline. It's a headline, motherfucker. And you pretty much got it right. Um, I mean, <laughs> the ba- the bailiff, I think, is you just go through a metal detector, so it's not a big deal. And he was just getting charged for, like, simple possession. So that's only, like, you know, not a huge crime. So you're not going to jail. Uh, you're just nope. going to fine. And then he pulled out a joint while he was making a speech about, like, this is what we have for us. Like, we can't even smoke weed. And then pulled out a joint, pulled out matches, and put, like, five puffs of it before they grabbed him. And he's like... We want better for society. And then he obviously got like held in contempt of court and a bunch of more charges. But yeah, real story. And uh, sorry, did you say which state? Did you say Tennessee? Okay, so that's probably not a a legal legal weed state. Probably not. Um, Cool. Definitely not. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Legal's in the eye of the beholder. 
Yes, law is in the eye of the lawbreaker, one could say also. Okay. Cam, here we go. We're continuing on headliner last night. Headline number two, a good Samaritan found $27,000 outside a credit union and turned it in. Repeat? (laughs) Repeat? Repeat which part? A good Samaritan found $27,000 outside a credit union and returned it. 27,000. Okay, the only problem I have with this, like, how do you pull out that much? A That's a good question. That is, that is a good question. $27,000 and returned it. Okay, mm-hmm. here's, if I'm thinking logically about this, you had a guy that was outside um, moving money around and they just had like those big banks, like it was those uh, bank mover guys. And they had two bags, and then somehow they got a little mix-up. Maybe there was the old switcheroo where someone left their luggage bag, and then they picked that up instead, and they put that in the car. Next thing you know, they open up, and there's a cat inside of it, and they go, Mamma Mia, you know, something like that. <laughs> the old um, the old cat switcheroo, the old, the old Mamma cat Mia. Switcheroo. Um, yep, yep, classic. And then the guy, we then all know what it is. And guy found the bag, and he's like, well, I think his main thought is like, I'm not getting... Like, you call it a good Samaritan, but it's also a guy that's like, I'm not getting busted for this shit. You know what I mean? Like, as much as it's a good Samaritan, it's also like, I know how this story ends for me. I get Mm. accused of stealing $27,000. So, I'm going to say it is a headline. That is a headline, my friend. So, pretty much what happened, uh, this was in a state that they're not saying... (laughs) Perfect. Okay, yeah, so what happened was um, this guy, George Condash, discovers a box outside of an ATM where a, like, a Brinks truck had just, you know, deposited or, with, or you know, just put in more money where evidently that truck left a $27,000 box of cash directly beside the ATM. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty, and pretty right. So this, so th- so this person goes up to the ATM and he finds it and it's funny like it's all on security it's like he t- picks up the bu- he picks up the box and he could have totally just his car is right beside him but you're going to get he could have totally taken it you know you are going to get caught but he did uh it turns out he's a nice guy sure. and he brought it back inside to the oh here we go Michigan a credit union in Michigan um and uh they did give him a cash uh they did give him a cash reward although uh they didn't they didn't tell us what it is but he did get he did get a little bit of something he did get a little something for returning a lot of money and uh it's nice to know that there's still some good people out there good to know all right yeah ready to hit number two i'm ready to rock baby man strangles rabid coyote death after attacks his son Oh, badass. Fucking badass as bad fuck. Badass. Yo, that would be sick. Like, you know, imagine, imagine, you like, and this happened. Oh, my God. I can just picture how cool this would be. Of course, violence against animals is not cool. But That's rabid animals, though, rabid animals, rabbit animals is cool to kill them. You know, I, well, okay, if it has rabies, yeah. Just, so here's what happened. Um, uh, a young boy, let's say he's like six or seven years old. Um, you know, his his mom and his dad just got divorced, or they're going through a, through a bit of a rough patch. Maybe dad's not living at home right now. So, um, so dad, it was dad's weekend. You know, he finally got he finally got his son for a weekend. He said to him, you know what, we're gonna go camping. We're gonna have a great time, just like me and my dad used to do. Right, but that's why you, know, you hate so tomatoes they, too. They, uh, so they 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 pack up the Subaru Legacy. Um, they put, they have a, they have a two seater tent. They have a little grill on them, some fishing poles, just some good old fashioned, so you, think you know, father son yeah. bonding. Got it. Yes. Yes. Some country shit. Um, so, you know, uh, they get there. It's a beautiful day. It's time. Uh, you know, they're going to set up their tent and the son's learning and the father's teaching. It's really, it truly is a beautiful moment. Uh, it truly really is a beautiful moment in their relationship. Um, they they get the fire going. They're cooking beans outside the fire, uh, and then um, you know the the son. You know he's 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 been allowed to have a couple. He's been allowed to have two cans of Coke. Ooh. 
His mom doesn't lot. love him to have Coke, but lot. dad uh, dad gave him a little a Coke, a can of Coke, a cola. And at one point, the boy's like, Dad, I need to go take a piss. Pee-pee. Can I take a pee-pee? <laughs> Papa, Papa, I need please, to pee-pee. Please, can I take a piece of pee-pee? Um, Mamma mia. Please, can... <laughs> <laughs> Mama mia. Mama mia, so go. he and so the father says of course son um this is nature feel free to be free you know encouraging his son to just you know and and of course the the feeling of just pissing in the wind no wait no that's not that's, that's, that's a different saying yeah. that's not the very looking for just you know being nude with nature right. maybe that's what yeah. i was looking for having your dick out with the wolves that's what I always say. <laughs> and coyote in th- coyote in this case. So I think when this son went to go went to go piddle, um, you know, he was kind of far enough away from his dad, and maybe this coyote has been cir- has been circling him all night, right? He smells the beans, he smells the hot dogs, he wants in on this father son bonding time because this coyote himself he lost his father at a very young age. You know, he doesn't have that older male role model, and so he approaches this young boy and kind of says like, "Hey, like." I want to be you, so I'm going to kill you, and, like, then your dad can, like, I'm going to, like, you know, so the coyote's plan is, like, kill the young boy, put on the, the, the boy's clothes, and then when he comes back, you know, and then just kind of start living his life from there. Because he, this coyote doesn't want to be a coyote anymore. He's fucking fed up with having to hunt for your food and, you know, living in squalor. You're out in the rain all the time, dog. You're living in the forest. Um, so wh- wh- while there's happening a bit of promotion, father hears it and he, he shines his flashlight over and he sees his son just kind of being mauled, uh, but very gently, kind of like on like the cat playful, or something. Like a playful um, mauling. Yeah, like a playful thing. Cause this, like, you know, like the, uh, the coyote doesn't want to kill the kid. Right. He wants to just like really badly hurt right. him and maybe scare him off into the forest and then, you know, and to kind of take his clothes and stuff like that. And uh, and then when all that's happening, the father comes in and just like, what are you, do- what are you doing, my son? Because see, here's, here's, here's the weird thing. The, the father just as- first assumes that the coyote is sexually assaulting mm-hmm. his son. Pretty standard assumption. Yeah, it was, it was pretty standard assumption, right? You see, um, you see, I, you see a, uh, a clo- a, a being without clothes on uh, near your young boy. You're, you're automatically assuming that this is uh, an inappropriate relationship so he he sees it happen and he just goes right for the coyote's throat and he starts strangling him and he's saying things like stay away from my son uh, I never want to see you again uh, put away your erection why do you have a little coyote erection and he's really pushing down in the throat but then I think the son realizes like no dad don't kill him like death like you know this this doesn't solve the problem and then he lets him go and then the uh, the coyote kind of scurries off and uh, and what they didn't know is that this was all caught on film because it was a fun ridiculousness esque Jamie Kennedy show punked, and uh, the coyote was um, was just being played by Zac Efron. It was all set up. Everybody was in Everybody on it. Everybody got punked. Everybody got punked. Uh, this is a headline. This is a real headline. Yeah, I mean they didn't have all the details you were looking for, and most of the details you provided were wrong. Um, but well, I think I think I think I think most of the deals were maybe possibly just omitted from the uh, from the possibly, official report. Possibly, um, yeah. it was actually a yeah, two-year-old yeah, yeah, yeah. kid uh, out of the bush grabs the ki- uh, grabs a grabs the kid and by the hood and is trying to pull him away. And the dad just jumped on him, then put like good hip pressure on him to keep him down. Reached, reached around his neck, grabbed his muzzle, so then he would like stop it from biting because it's a rabid animal, and rabid animals will bite you. And just put the fucking Tony Ferguson squeeze on him, and then he killed him. He killed the uh, animal. <laughs> the, the Tony Ferguson squeeze. Yeah. So yeah, it was. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of uh, coyotes with rabies in that area. This is. I think this is in Toronto. No, this is CNN. Really? This is, sorry, this is CNN. No, 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 no. Oh, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. Well, I hope that's nowhere close to Toronto. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I was also looking up. Yeah, the reason <laughs> I thought I was Toronto is because I was looking up um, where there's common tick infections, and Toronto is actually a pretty big hot spot for it. Yeah, actually, like right behind, uh, right behind Casa Loma, where I work, is a uh, is a forest that is a popular area for ticks. Yeah. I think I got bit by a tick one time. Do you have- and then I had this whole like, do I have Lyme disease thing? Terrifying. But I think I'm fine. Well, I don't know. You're probably fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've got, I've been like been to the doctor and shit since. Did then. you tell and them about it? I've done like, 
No, but like I've I've done blood work and he's like you're fine. So I'm yeah, like, but okay. they found testing for Lyme. Nah, I think I'm fine. Watch. I think I would know. And this, 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 con- like th- this concludes uh, possibly our last ever podcast with Cam <laughs> McClare and Cam Osborne. We are taking a pl- applications for new hosts because uh, one of us. This happened isn't like doing folks. Well. At, folks at home, this happened like three Weeks years ago. ago. Three <laughs> days, days ago. ago. I'm fine. Today. I uh, I'm exhibiting none of the symptoms, which You're are slurring. Cam, uh, you're slurring. Slide sharing. Please, please, please. Uh, I really <laughs> like Coronas and Limes. Yeah? And getting caught in the rain? Okay, Cam, here we go. I got a final headline for you. Let's ya. hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, here's your final headline. Uh, headline. Ha- <laughs> go, go. Okay, folks, thanks a bunch for listening to the show. Okay, here we go. Um... Uh, kids aged 12 and 13 shot by a driver after throwing snowballs at their car. Damn. Badass. But I mean, like, have you ever been down to, like, the West Mall Bad. area? Like, in Etobicoke? Yo, oh, like, fam, fam's out, yo, mm. fam's out there get, like, yo, beat up for a pair of sneakers out here, fam. It's like, yo, throwing someone's shoes out there, fam, it's like, not okay. Um, now would they actually get shot? Of course, Cam's doing the impression of a white person who just says fam all the time, of course. Yes, uh, that's We me. weren't being rude or anything. Nope, nope. Just, uh, yeah. just my friend Dave. Do an impression of my friend Dave. Exactly. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. So, could I see someone actually shooting? I have a good story that relates to that, which kind of, I can see how it's related. So... When I was young, when I was about 12, 13 years old, we used to hide behind a bush and throw crab apples at trucks. And, you know, harmless because they're transport trucks. But then we saw a car coming, and we threw it at them, and it hit the side of it. And it was a BMW. And, like, it was so obviously came from us because we're on country roads, you know. So the guy turns around, <laughs> and we run up into our uh, my friend's house. Uh, we go inside, and... The guy pulls in, slam, slams the, his door, and then comes up to our door, bangs on the door. And he's like, he opens the door, we're like, oh, hello, like, how can I help you? Like, funny seeing you here. Like, <laughs> what are you doing here? Right? And he's like, is, oh is your father home? And we're like, no, he's out in the back. Like, he's just doing stuff back there. <laughs> and then his dad goes like, who is it? And we're like, we'll just go get him right now for you, sir. Like, so weird that you're here, though, because, like, I was just hanging out inside. I don't know what you're doing here. Um, so, like, I don't know. So, I mean, like, if you did it to people with guns and they just want to take a few, like, warning shots at you, yeah, I could probably see it. And it was, like, you know, a Benz or some shit. But I'm going to call asinine on this story. <sighs> I wish this one was asked nine cam because you have a headline in front of you. We are correct. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Two children aged 12 and 13 were both shot uh, in the city of Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, after throwing snowballs at a passing Toyota. Um, this happened as uh, Saturday uh, t- to or last Saturday evening. Um, rather uh, through at the Toyota, the Toyota stopped and shot at the children. Um, whose injuries are both non-life threatening. I mean, that's a positive. And yeah. it's like Toyota. Crazy too. though. Crazy though. It's fucked. <sighs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's end on a high note here with Super Bowl Sunday coming up. Yeah. No. I, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to end that game on a. But I didn't over. mean to end that it's game. Over. No. But that's how you play. That's, that's how, how you, you play, play headline or All right. That's how you play the game. Last headline: Man buys Super Bowl ad in an attempt to lose his virginity. Oh, is that a re- uh, shit, eh? That's, that's funny. <laughs> um, you know what? And uh, th- it's, not th- it's not like it's a bad idea, right? I mean, um, I mean, how much can a Super Bowl ad cost? You now, know, you have to like, think there are like $100, like you $200? You could buy local things, local advertisement for it. You could buy local, yeah, that's the thing. You could buy like global, a global TV Super Bowl ad. Or you can buy one like for bucks. like Milwaukee, small town where you get shot at for throwing snowballs at Toyotas. That one. Exactly. And if you just want to get laid from one particular person, right. boom, you know how to corner the market. Hey, Suki. Like, what's hey. going on, sweetheart? <laughs> Listen. I shaved up all my money from Bandcamp this year. We're going to fucking bone. 
trombone that is. <laughs> I, I, crazier things have happened, Cam. Crazier things have happened. So what is it? <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, no, that that sounds a hundred percent possible and headlining. Yeah, that's awesome. I made that one up. Ah, oh, come on, I wish, come on, I wish. Cam. Fuck, I might buy it for myself. Come on, Cam. I was about to say, yeah, just buy like guy buy a Super Bowl ad just to say, hey, I bought a Super Bowl ad. Like, <laughs> it can be for any reason. Yeah, but losing to Virginia is funny. Funny. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think uh, that about wraps us up for the week, eh, bud? Yeah, that's all the time we have for this week's two season of pod. Remember to rate, review, like, and subscribe to the show everywhere. Apple Podcasts, you get five stars. You say crappy things about us in the comment section. It doesn't matter. You just have to give us five, five stars. stars yeah, is what that's matters. all that matters. <laughs> the five stars is what matters. But and you can say really anything you ever, maybe like if you've ever wanted to publicly uh, humiliate either myself or uh, Cam. Uh, actually, a fun um, trick that I learned free- the other day is if you put five stars in the review, um, actually, if you um, you actually look at your Gmail and your your name your middle name comes up as the subject line from apple like i don't know how they do it it's crazy you should definitely try it yes yeah. try it out 100 percent legit all the things that cam said you can do that we're on spotify we're on youtube uh we're on google play and two season pod gmail.com we'd love to hear from you talk soon everybody ciao for now